This video will review the bleeding procedure for Clark's brakes using mineral oil. Originate hydraulic brakes also share the same procedures and are covered here as well. For other brake brands, see our video playlist here. This video will use the Clout 1 and Originate brake as our example. Brake bleeding requires a thorough technical knowledge of the braking system. If in doubt, or if your procedure is not working, contact the brake manufacturer's website for their model-specific information. It is important to always use the appropriate brake fluid for the brake being serviced. Never use a DOT fluid for brakes designed for mineral oil. Conversely, never use a mineral oil in brakes designed for a DOT fluid. Mixing fluids can cause damage to the components and lead to brake failure. Additionally, you should never share bleed kits between DOT fluids and mineral oils. You may also want to anticipate any advertent spills and drips on the floor. Dispose of any fluid in accordance with your local waste disposal authorities. Typical tools and supplies for this procedure include the BKM-1 bleed kit from Park Tool, appropriate mineral oil for the system, hex wrenches, Park Tool Piston Press PP 1.2, tire lever or cone wrench, clean rags, isopropyl alcohol, safety glasses, and gloves. The basic concept of bleeding a hydraulic brake system is to remove the old fluid and any air bubbles, replacing it with fresh fluid and eliminating air bubbles. Begin by removing the wheel. Rotate the bike so there is a consistent uphill travel from the caliper to the lever. For rear brakes, the bike may need to be tilted. Lower the stand if necessary. Rotate the lever so the bleed port screw is at the highest point. Remove the brake pads from the caliper. Reset the pistons back into the caliper body. Install a brake bleed block between the pistons. It may fit from only one side. If the pad retaining screw will not fit, hold the block using a rubber band or a zip tie. Install the syringe holder above the caliper. Now to prepare the syringes. For Clark's and Originate brake systems, you will use both syringes included with the BKM-1 pairing each with a double-ended syringe hose. Thread a hose onto each syringe. To attach the syringe to the lever or caliper, you will need the correct syringe adapter. For Originate, you will need one purple adapter, part number 2623-2, and the green adapter, part number 2625. Thread each onto a syringe hose. For Clark's brand brakes, use both of the purple adapters, part number 2623-2. Thread these onto the syringe hoses. Fill one syringe three-quarter full with the appropriate brake fluid. Hold the syringe upright and pull back to clear the tubing. Now slowly and carefully push the plunger until fluid just comes to the end of the tubing. If working on an Originate brake, fill the syringe with the green adapter attached. Next, we will attach the syringes to the brake system. Remove the brake bleed port screw at the lever and install the empty syringe. Before removing the caliper bleed port, Pull back a bit at the lever syringe to create a little vacuum. This helps reduce any dripping at the caliper bleed port. Remove the caliper bleed port screw and install the syringe with fluid. Now attach the syringe to the syringe holder. Begin to push fluid from the caliper syringe through the caliper, up the brake line, and up to the lever syringe. As you push at the caliper, also pull a bit at the lever syringe. 
This helps clear any air in the line as fluid flows from the caliper through the system up to the empty syringe. Use care not to depress the caliper syringe all the way to the plunger. Doing so may introduce air into the system. Now, hold the lever syringe upright to prevent air from getting into the system. Push the fluid back down toward the caliper syringe. Pull back slightly at the caliper syringe at the same time. If no bubbles appear in the line, push fluid one last time from the caliper syringe up to the lever syringe. Repeat the process of pulling back a bit at the opposite syringe. If bubbles are seen in the hose, give it another cycle of fluid between the two syringes. When no bubbles are present, disconnect the syringe from the brake caliper and reinstall the brake bleed port screw. Tighten to three newton meters. Disconnect the syringe from the lever and reinstall the bleed port screw. The brake lever screw is a lighter torque, typically no more than one newton meter. Touch the system by pulling at the lever with force. It should feel firm. If the lever was rotated, move it back to the original position. Remove the piston block from the caliper. Clean the caliper and lever of any fluid. Install brake pads. Install a wheel. Pull lever repeatedly to move the pads to the rotor. Adjust brake caliper to the rotor as needed. After bleeding, remove hose from syringe and remove adapters from the hose. Let the hoses drain. Make sure any hose clips are open. A little remnant mineral oil in the syringe is not an issue. Otherwise, the syringe can be taken apart to be cleaned at your discretion. Thanks for watching this repair help video from Park Tool. We're constantly adding videos and articles here on YouTube as well as our website at parktool.com. Please give this video a thumbs up if it helped you out. And of course, subscribe for the latest content from Park Tool.